Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's movie we're gonna talk about scope mounts for the Swiss K31 straight bore rifle. Disclaimer at the beginning, nothing is sponsored. All the things you are gonna see I bought with my own money and I just will tell you my experience with these things. There are several different types of scope mounts available for the K31. The one you see here in this picture is mounted into the rear side mount of the K31, so you have to remove the original rear side and then the whole thing is, maybe you can see this, there is one screw here which holds the whole thing together. There are different suppliers of this systems and they are available in steel or aluminium. This one is made of aluminium. And there are shorter or longer versions. With the shorter version, versions, you have to use and scope with a very long eye relief. Mine has a normal eye relief. And this, what you see here, this cutaway should help by extracting the spent rounds. We will later see whether this works or not. There is also a version of this scope mount where the whole mount is angled in case you want to shoot 600 or more meters but I won't shoot more than 300 meters that's why I have the standard version the most common problem people have with these mounts is will it extract the spent round or not so let's see how it works there is a spent round in the rifle and yay it extracts and it does so in maybe 85-90% of all cases. But for me it is not a problem if it would not extract. I do not care that much about whether the round is, uh, spent round is extracted or not. Because at the range where I shoot you are not allowed to use a magazine or just one round in the magazine. So this is what you can do. You have to load it, you can close it. Then you can remove the magazine, you fire the round, and then you throw it out, and then you load the next round. So whether the round is extracted up or down, for me, does not matter. What does not work at all, of course, is loading the gun with a stripper clip. Yeah? So this is impossible, because the scope is in the way. You have to use the magazine, but as I told you, at our range, this is also prohibited. For me, a much more severe problem is the cheek crest. So this stock is too low when you look at the height of the scope mount. So you have to do something that you have a cheek crest. And I use this thing of plastic, which actually made from an for another gun. And I fix this with this holder, which is actually for rounds, but it's rubber. So I can fit this over the stock, put this under and then I have a nice cheek rest. Of course you can also use some more tackle thing if you like to do so. This is both possible and then you have a nice cheek rest and you can aim properly with this rifle. As you can see this K31 is dressed like a hunting rifle but I actually I do not hunt with this rifle because it's still Everything is like a standard K31, so you should shoot only the military GP11 round with this. This is a full metal jacket, and in Switzerland you do not hunt with full metal jackets. That's why I use this at the range only, and you see some of the typical targets we had in the good old times. The targets were made of paper, and you see actually where you aim, and you also saw the impact of your rounds and in the new time we have electronic targets you don't see these rings anymore so you shoot just as you do in nature and the impact you just see on a black and white monitor and the 10 is 10 centimeter this is 4 inches in diameter and on 100 meter this is really not a problem to hit the 10 if in 10 centimeters other targets are the bore at 70 meters which is a moving target and another one is at 150 meters, which is also no problem to hit. So this scope mount is really very good for 
the things I use it hunting on the range at about 150 meter perfect for me. Recently I found a video from another YouTuber, Lincap. I put you the link in the description. And he also has a scope mount for the K31, but this one is very, his one is very, very tight to the system here. So it even touches it. And he has big problems in hitting something with this, or at least reliable hitting. So if you buy one of these things, make sure that there is some distance between the system and the scope mount. That we don't interfere with each other. A second type of scope mount you see here in the picture, and this is very simple clamp on mount on this side. I will show you later how to do this. Also, they are different types of them depending on the supplier. There are one where the scope remains on the right hand side so that you don't have any problems with the extractions and there are others where the scope is then in the middle of the rifle. I strongly recommend having one where the scope is in the middle of the rifle because you have a very strange position with your head if you have to aim with on the right hand side of your rifle. Except if you are left handed then this is very nice. So mounting the scope mount is very easy. You just clamp this on and fix this with one single screw and that's all. There is not much more to do, no permanent changes, nothing and you see you have a scope mount on your rifle. Because it's so easily mounted and dismounted I exchange this type of scope mount quite often and I use this to check K31s whether they are still good at 300 meters or not. Sometimes when you shoot with open sights you do not see this properly. So I do mount the scope and shoot from a support and then you see whether the carbine still hits something or not. And here a real problem is the cheek rest. And I highly recommend buying something like this. So this is an all-in-one package. You see this is two screws where the sling holder is. Remove the two screws you mount on this. Then you can put on this and then you can easily adjust the height of your cheek rest and you can easily operate the carbine. So I highly recommend buying this and then your chin or does not hover around the carbine but you have a nice cheek rest you can rely on. I use this mount several times at 300 meters not only on this carbine but also on others and I always had excellent results if the carbine was worth something you really shoot nicely on 300 meter distance. So what about the extraction of the spent round? So if you push it it's always thrown directly on the scope and then it falls back into the receiver. That's why I made this tiny thing of plastic which I can stick here and then it works sufficiently well. But as I told you the extraction for me is not a major problem as I'm allowed to load one round a time anyway only. Yeah? But you can make such a small aid that the round is thrown to the side and not straight upward. This works quite okay. The last scope mount I want to show you is actually not a scope mount, it's made for the Optus. And I told you already about this in my movie about the Leonard Anschutz rifles. This is exactly fixed like the scope mount before. It's clamped to the side and it has here an 11 mm prism and there are Picatinny adapters available so you can easily put a Picatinny rail on top of this. You will not have any problems with the extraction of the rounds nor with feeding your magazine with stripper clips and you can mount, actually I will do mount a very short scope. You cannot mount a normal scope this is up too high and too far behind but something like this handheld or here and red dot side which you can use then up to 70 meters, this would be fine. And I will try this this year. 
I cannot provide you with short movies of me shooting these rifles because at this shooting range where the hunters practice uh, we do not like anyone doing pictures or movies there. So, but you can believe me that all the scope parts I've shown you work really well. This one I cannot tell you right now because I haven't tried it yet, but I will do so this year and I will let you know whether it works or not. So I hope you liked the video and see you next time. Bye bye.